Fang, do you realize what's going on with the world today? Chinese authorities say they're investigating a viral pneumonia outbreak and there's speculation that it could be linked to a SARS virus that killed hundreds of people in 2003. A mysterious pneumonia has gripped China with scores hospitalized by the illness. Chinese authorities first notified the World Health Organization on January 11th that they had discovered a novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. Today we are COVID-19 because of this virus that came from China. <laughs> and that it had already infected 41 people in the Hubei province, and that it had caused one death due to the disease that it causes called COVID-19. On January 12th, the WHO came out with a statement and they decided that pending more investigations, there was no big threat and there was no need to impose any travel restrictions on China. The next week saw cases appear from Thailand, Japan, all the way to Nepal and the USA. On January 22nd, the death toll in China was at 17 with more than 550 infections. And right, Fang, as you see, COVID is spreading like a wildfire. And here in Davao City, we have a lot of cases. As of November 25, Davao City has 5,994 COVID-19 cases with 3,729 recoveries, 277 deaths, and 1,988 active cases. What can we what can we do to prevent it? Pero na po, makapuso ang confirmadong positibo sa COVID-19. The number of Filipinos testing positive for the coronavirus is rising by the day. Reported its second case of the disease and the country's first novel coronavirus related death. Community quarantine is hereby imposed in the entire of Metro Manila. Have you ever heard, like, they say you're in your house, you're doing some random stuff and then there's this government vehicle that says in mayor's are dirty places like this? We should maintain social distancing when we're in public, wear your face mask. For me, facial is really not required for me because most countries don't even wear facials except in the Philippines where it's very strict but just carry your facial with you so that you don't get caught by the authorities. Huh? If you lessen the number of people in a certain location, tell them to stay away from each other and then eventually seclude them, the virus will still spread. However, it'll do so at a much slower pace. This is called social distancing. Basically, staying away from other people and trying to stay home as much as possible. Experts say social distancing is a way to prevent spreading COVID-19. Maluwag ng supermarket pero hanggang cashier may distansya ang bawat customer. Please just wear your mask for the whole thing so other people won't get COVID and also Sanitize your hands whenever you go to public restrooms or public bathrooms or anywhere before you eat in public. That's why we have this glass or glass, it's not really glass but it's a you know, plastic barrier. Yeah, we should have those. We have, we have those so that we don't, we don't get contact with other people with COVID so the COVID will not spread. Stop the spread of fake news and don't add to the noise. It might confuse people in this time of information fatigue. Only get your news from verified sources. Second, practice proper hygiene wherever you are. Clean your hands constantly and properly. Avoid touching any unnecessary surfaces. Use soap, water, alcohols, aerosols, whatever you have at your disposal to try and stay as clean as possible. Third, if you have to go out for food runs and to acquire basic amenities, practice strict social distancing and inform the people around you to do the same. Finally, understand that if you're at home and have access to food, know that you are part of the privileged few. So try and help out the less fortunate communities where you can. We should all stay at home, but that doesn't mean it will be as easy or as simple for everyone else around you. The lack of income and food for the urban poor would lead to widespread hunger and frustration. As you see, because of COVID-19, all of the schools are now at home, especially for the young one, but Basically, the government is trying to make a limited face-to-face -face in the classroom, which some parents will not agree on it because of the child. 
And for the colleges, they're starting to make limited face to face with other courses like nursing, engineering, or architecture. Some, here's some common causes by the um, <clears throat> excuse me about that of some of the common ways that tell us the symptom of a person having COVID-19 yeah, we have fever, cough, tiredness, loss of taste or smell in here, down here these are less common symptoms which are the sore throat, headaches and back pains I get headaches and back pains by the instead of the going outside or something that's in the indoors or doing my online um, task here. So I'm also answering my father's module by using Tsumisaya. And he can answer, so I answer it pretty much. The area rush skin or discoloration of fingers or toes or red or irritating eye. Um, serious symptoms are difficulty of breathing or change of breath, loss of speech or mobility, profusion or chest pain. As you see, night fam, some of my family members are getting COVID-19 but getting recovered. Thanks to God, we prayed them because for your family. Just recently, my aunt from Japan, she got COVID-19 and she's positive. She's now in a life support and tomorrow we'll have a prayer meeting. Pray for her and hope she will get better soon. As you see, night fam, whenever the government will say that there's a limited face-to-face -face class for the children I will strictly and strictly not let him attend especially my mom who's a frontliner in his SPMC she will have to let the younger brother go to school in face-to-face -face until everyone is okay the world is okay we are COVID free but for now he stays homeschooled because we don't want to let him get the virus and we're preventing that I saved in college, me and my sister were in college, like that, hmm? we will still have protocols, when we go home we disinfect our things, make sure it doesn't get contaminated with virus or any outside world, so, just be safe, just be mindful of others, don't like be the current and Facebook videos you see that they're refusing to wear masks because of their health conditions, they're making fake excuses, blah 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 blah. So, just be mindful. Like what my teachers in South Wales speak like me, just be mindful that be concerned and be considerate to other people. Because there are people who stop them. We're gonna get away with this soon. We're gonna get a piece soon. The world will be a perfect world. I mean, not a perfect for nice combat. In maybe in the future, maybe we'll maybe we're going, going to be COVID free. So, stay tuned, subscribe, and like, also, and comment. That's more than I mean, it's see you tomorrow. So, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Ermi Arch Builders, Michigan's Vlog Production, and TMK Studios. The link will be in the description down below and, and later I will be now starting a new company called Mishkenzi Tutorial Center where we teach young vloggers how to vlog, how to edit and how to become photography and not just photography but we also have other types of tutorials like become a chef or any other training that can give in welding, uh, mason or anything related to constructions. So yeah, see you soon and I hope you have a nice day. Peace.